besides at Mindanao at sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin worldwide, magandang magandang umaga po at ito ang ating update mula sa Feebox regarding the volcano. So, ang activity po ng main crater in the past 24 hours has been characterized by weak emission of steam-laden plumes rising 50 to 100 meter high before drifting southwest. We still have sulfur dioxide emission and it was measured at an average of 105 tons per day on February 10, 2020. And the Taal Volcano Network recorded 87 volcanic earthquakes including one low-frequency event and two harmonic tremors having durations of 1 to 3 minutes. Ayan po. So, these earthquakes signify magmatic activity beneath the Taal edifice that could lead to eruptive activity at the main crater. Alert level 3 is maintained over Taal Volcano and the UST Fivox reminds the public that sudden steam-driven and even weak priato magmatic explosions, volcanic earthquakes, ashfall and little volcanic gas expulsions can still occur and threaten areas within Taal Volcano Island and nearby lake shores. Enjoy the view of uh, Taal Volcano and the area of San Nicolas, Batangas. Yan po ay kuha ng ating kaibigang si William Enriquez. Maraming pong salamat. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Inspire Life. And click that bell button for more updates, like, comment below, and of course, share this video. Yan, napaganda po ng tanawin ng ating uh, mapayapang San Nicolas Batangas. So, in the midst of every crisis lies a great opportunity. Yan po ay kay galing kay Albert Einstein. So, um, pumaya pa po tayo. At yan ang Mount Makulod. Makulod. Ang ganda po. Ayan. Sa Cuenca, Batangas po yan. Subscribe! Handa at ligtas ang may alam. Agham para sa tao. Ito po si Juliet Cruz reporting from Inspire Life. Ito po ang Spire Life, your bridge to your dreams and aspirations.